I'm Greg Garbos of Four Season Tools. We're here at Turner Farm on North Haven Island off the coast of Maine. We've been working with this farm for the last three years regarding their season extension and vegetable production as well as their animal, uh, pasturing their animals. Over here on my left, we have a hoop coop. It's a custom hoop coop that's being used to overwinter goats and cows, as well as in the summertime, they can move it off the pen and use it for vegetables. The building was designed with completely removable end walls on pipe skids, so it can be moved along the length of the structure and it can also be moved laterally. When the end walls get removed, they can pull it off of the pen and they can move it side to side or turn the building as need to to relocate on the property depending on what they want to do with their animals or use it for vegetable production. When this building was constructed, it was constructed around the pen. So you can see all the wooden fence posts that keeps the animals from uh, damaging the plastic or the building. Then when they need to move it, they can remove the end walls, slide it off and use it for another purpose. If we look over here on the other side of this rock wall, uh, three years ago, we built three movable greenhouses. that we're on an island off the coast of Maine, there's a tremendous amount of wind speed that these, uh, these tunnels have seen, and we're very, very pleased uh, with the structures and how well they've kept up over the last three years. What we have is three 30 by 48 structures. The first two structures closest to me, those are both three position movable greenhouses. These are on skids, and if you look at the buildings, you can kind of see the plots where the different movable plots are. So the building that's closest to me is all the way back into its third position, and then there's two plots that they're using for vegetable production in front of that structure. The second building is also a three-position movable greenhouse. It's currently in its middle position. Getting, uh, we're here in, uh, in October, and these, these uh, buildings are staggered so that as we get further into the winter, that not, none of the buildings shade each other. The building that's closest to the ocean, that's a uh, movable structure, but it's being, uh, it's being kept in the same place and that's being used as their plant house. The, the dirt that's work that's been done behind these three buildings in between us and the ocean is the future site of two additional 30 by 48 foot greenhouses that we're going to be building while we're here. Those will both be three position greenhouses as well. So we've got the hoop coop, we've got the three existing structures which we're going to be doing some work on. Uh, to get them back to, uh, up to kind of the state of the art, we're going to be taking out the wooden end walls, putting in new uh, metal end walls, and then the, the two new buildings will be on V-tracks and we'll have three positions as well. It's a really beautiful day and really happy to be here working on Turner Farm. I'm here in front of the two new movable buildings here on Turner Farm. We put in two three position 30 by 48 movable buildings on V-Track. Both of these buildings have been a lot of fun to put up and as we built them we also wanted to be careful of the soil amendments that they were doing. We've actually moved both of these buildings two different times during the construction which worked really really nice. This is a wide open end wall design allowing all the end wall ventilation, all the ventilation to happen in the end walls. And now you enter the building through the side wall doors. We have, uh, it's in early November here in Maine. And right now we have them staggered to make sure that one building doesn't shade the other building for their winter production. Because of the topography here with the whole slope going down towards the ocean, to get all the site prep done properly, we brought in 730 yards of dirt to build up the far end of the building to make sure that the track pads for the V-track are parallel squared in the same plane. We added a big plateau here for both buildings so they both can have a full three position rotation so they can move them multiple times a year and get up to four different crops underneath those buildings in a year. These are two different identical buildings from over here. We also modified and did some improvements on the other buildings on the structure. We'll show you that now. We finished up here at Turner Farm on North Haven Island off the coast of Maine. The two buildings that are closest to us were movable buildings. And we went ahead and we re-skinned them, put new plastic on them, we rebuilt the end walls, we ripped out the sidewall ventilation, and put end walls in for our wide open end walls, so all the ventilation is now in the end walls. So we did it to the building to my right that's behind me, and we also did retrofitted the building to my left. You also can see on the sidewalls that we added sidewall doors, so we changed the way that you're entering the building. Behind this building on the right is the plant house, which we've left intact, and then all the way down we added two additional buildings down by the ocean. So now there are four movable buildings, 30 by 48 movable buildings. There's a 30 by 48 plant house, and we still have the hoop coop over on another part of the property. It's been a great month out here on the island, and we're really pleased with how everything turned out.